Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm drawing one of my viewers' original characters. But first I want to mention that this video is sponsored by Zoid. Zoid is a monthly limited release of mystery sticker packs, where 8 artists are selected to design 2 stickers each based on a theme. The goal of Zoid is to provide a platform for talented up-and-coming artists by combining their talents into a set of themed mystery sticker packs so that each artist may benefit from the combined exposure. Zoid mystery packs contain 5 limited edition theme stickers, one of which is a rare slash holographic sticker. October's theme was Wonder. There are 16 sticker designs total in the Wonder set. Each sticker is created by one of the eight artists. The artist's name for the design and social media information is included on a card behind each sticker. The pack also comes with a set guide. Zoid was super kind and sent me two packs of stickers and they are so cool. The stickers look and feel really nice and the holographic stickers are absolutely beautiful. I love how shiny they are. I love getting to see how the different artists interpreted the theme and I definitely found some new artists to follow on Instagram. If you have a suggestion for future theme or you'd like to be an artist in an upcoming release, send them an email or message them on social media. Links in the description. November's theme is Soul. If you are interested in getting your own sticker pack, you can check out their website. Thank you so much again to Zoid for sponsoring this video. So anyways, let's see whose character I'm drawing. This character was created by Kit Kat Skits. The character's name is Shaychelle. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Uh, she is 23 years old. She is calm, kind, and strong-willed. Her hobbies include taking walks in the forest and observing nature. She likes plants, the color lavender, and her favorite animal are deer. Shaychelle is a human whose soul is part deer. She lives alone in a hut in the forest. She unfortunately lost her left arm when she was 19. So let's start drawing Shaychelle. So I'm starting out by slightly cleaning up my rough idea of this picture, so I'm going in and doing my rough sketch. This picture was definitely inspired by Shay Chell living in a forest, and so I was trying to decide how I wanted to draw her in a forest, what kind of perspective I wanted to draw her at, and at first I was just going to draw Shay Chell, um, just kind of in a forest, and I didn't totally know how I was going to go about it, but I don't know, that idea just didn't sound super interesting to me. And I kept trying to think of more ways to make it more interesting and to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I had the idea to include a deer in the picture. I never really draw deers or animals very much. Uh, so it was definitely very tricky and kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Uh, but I really liked the idea of including a deer. And I really, really like deer and I think they're really cute. And so once I got the idea to include one, I definitely wanted to try my best to include one. So here you can see I'm kind of starting to do my rough sketch of the deer. And while I was drawing the deer, I was looking at many, many, many references and trying to get the proportions the best I could. I did kind of stylize the deer a bit to make it a little bit more my style and a little bit more cartoony. So after getting the character and the deer more in place, I start roughing in my idea for the background. And my idea for the background is that there are bushes in the very foreground and then some grass and then a little river. And then on the other side of the river, we have a whole bunch of trees and bushes. And to sketch this out, I actually decided to sketch it out in color. I have found when sketching out backgrounds, I really like sketching them in color because I just feel like it really helps me uh, flesh out the background a little bit more, especially for organic backgrounds. And at first I was going to have the lighting come from above and be kind of shining through the trees. But then I got the idea to make the lighting come from the back and be shining through the trees like from the back instead of from above. And I thought that would look really cool and so I decided to go with that. So after that, I did my cleanup sketch for Shaychel and the deer. I decided to skip that so I could show you a little bit of my line art process. The line art process went really smoothly, thankfully. And I was thinking about using the rough pencil tool for the line art to make the line art a little softer. Uh, but I decided to use the G pen like I usually do because I knew there was going to be a lot going on in this picture and there's going to be a lot in the background and such. And so to make things easier to fill in, I decided just to use the G pen because it's a lot easier to fill in uh, the character and the background when I use the G pen because it's nice and smooth. 
and I don't have to worry about messing around with the texture and the texture of the pen leaving white areas. Now I'm starting to move on to the deer and I decided to have the deer looking at us. I'm not totally sure why I decided on this. I just thought it'd be kind of cool if the deer was looking at us, like the deer noticed us, uh, but Chechel hasn't quite noticed us yet. And I decided to make the deer kind of a mystical deer, but I'll talk about that a little bit more when I get to the coloring. Now I'm starting to fill in the background a bit more and I start by laying out some horizontal lines just to help me keep things uh, straight and so they don't get all slanted and kind of wobbly. And I start by adding some bushes in the foreground with a textured brush. I think it's a textured brush for making trees, but I always use it to make bushes. And then I also lay out another thing of green for the grass and then some blue for the river. And then I add some dirt and more grass on the other side of the little river. And I don't use any line art for the background uh, just because I always find it easier to do backgrounds without line art, especially if they're really organic backgrounds like this one with lots of trees and grass and bushes. And now I'm kind of starting to work on the trees. And for the trees, I have the brown that I'm using get lighter and lighter as I move more back. And I do the same thing for the bushes. The bushes get lighter and lighter as they move towards the background. Um, one, because the lighting is coming from back there and so those things will be more light. But also as things move in the background, they tend to get kind of lighter or kind of darker, it really kind of depends. <laughs> Usually as things move into the background, I have them get kind of lighter and I'll have things in the foreground be kind of darker. So yeah, I'm just kind of going in and adding a whole bunch of trees and bushes. I also used a textured pen for doing the trees. So if you look closely, you'll see that the trees are kind of bumpy. I didn't want them to be super smooth, so I tried using a textured pen and it worked really nicely. Um, after laying out the trees, I added a whole bunch of different branches to the trees. I used to find trees to be really, really tricky to draw, um, but with trees, you can kind of make them whatever shape you want. You just kind of have to follow the rule that each stick gets thinner as you keep going. So if there's one stick, the stick that's coming off that stick can't be thicker than the stick it's coming from, if that makes sense. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that's what I do for the trees. And I also rough in the lighting a little bit. I add some lighting and some shadow. I also cast Shechelle and the deer in shadow. And I decided to start by trying to flesh out the background a little bit more. I was more nervous about the background than I was Shechelle and the deer. And so I was trying to get the background more figured out with the lighting and how I wanted to go about that. I used a textured leaf brush that I found online for the bushes to give them more texture and detail. And I used a whole bunch of different shades of green to add shading. I also used some textured grass brushes and I added some different greens for the grass in the background. I was also trying to think a lot about the lighting. I wanted this background to have a lot of contrast between the lights and the darks because I thought it'd make it really dramatic and kind of cool. Um, in the end, I end up toning down the lights and the darks a little bit. Um, in the beginning, they're kind of really pow and it actually kind of hurts your eyes a little bit. <laughs> so I tone them down towards the end. Right now, I'm just trying to get the general lighting for the trees in place. I also use a lot of Gaussian blur uh, while working on this picture. I blur out the trees in the background quite a bit later on. I also try to add a lot of glowing elements and so a lot of times when things are being lit, um, sometimes light will kind of radiate from that thing and so I'm having some light radiate from the bushes and it's kind of casting a green glow onto the trees and I thought this made the trees look really cool. So after getting the lighting figured out with the bushes and the trees, I go in with a leafy pattern brush and I start adding more leaves to the trees. Right now they kind of look like they're dead trees, but I wanted to add a lot of different speckles of green to add leaves to them. Uh, for the trees in the foreground, I used a dark green, a mid green, and then kind of a yellowy color for the highlights. And I also kind of blur them out a little bit to make them a little bit softer and help the colors kind of blend together. And then I add a whole bunch of smaller uh, leaves to the trees in the background and I just kind of keep adding leaves everywhere with this leafy patterned brush. I had a lot of fun adding the leaves and it makes the forest feel like it's really alive. 
I wanted to try my best to make the background really nice. I always kind of have a hard time with foresty backgrounds, but I really, really tried my best to execute this one how I was seeing it in my mind. <laughs> After finishing the background, I started working on Shade Shell. I actually decided to turn off the layers for the background because like I mentioned, it was slightly hurting my eyes while I was working on the picture. And so I turned it off and I was trying to add some of the lighting to Shade Shell. And so I start by erasing some of that shadow layer I have applied to her. And this helps it look like she's being lit from the back. I was a little nervous about Shay Chell's color scheme because it's mostly green and I was worried I wouldn't be able to make her stand out, uh, but by using a lot of lights and darks, in the end I was able to kind of get her to stand out. Now for the deer, like I mentioned, I decided it was going to be a mystical deer. So I made it light blue and at first I was going to make it glow, uh, but this seemed a little odd in a way and I felt like it was going to be hard to express that it was glowing. And so I decided to make it not glow, but I was going to have certain parts of it be glowing. Um, deers often have little white spots in their pattern and so I was going to add little white glowy spots in the fur pattern and I was also going to make the eyes glow white and also uh, the antlers glow. I was really excited about the mystical deer. So now I'm moving on to adding more shading to Shechel and I decided to turn off my shading layer and just add a little bit of shading without it there. Uh, but I was also having a hard time knowing how my colors would look, so I decided to turn it back on. And I also turned back on my background layer, uh, just because I was having a hard time gauging how the shadows should be without my background layer in place. So I'm adding a lot of different shading to Shechelle. I tried using my softer hair shading style for this one, and I kept kind of blending out the colors. Another thing I was trying with this picture is adding more gradients. I do often add quite a lot of gradients when working with my pictures, but I tried adding even more gradients with this picture and also trying to add different colors of the gradients um, just to help make the coloring overall smoother and more cohesive. Another thing I tried is adding um, some more vibrant green around the highlights and then using more of a white color for the middle of the highlight. And I thought this was kind of cool because it gave kind of like a rim to the highlights and it gave the highlights kind of a cool look. Now I'm moving on to shading her skin. I didn't do anything super fancy here, just kind of shading her skin like I usually do. Next I move on to shading her eyes. Originally I was going to have her looking at us. Uh, but it looked kind of weird and so I decided to have her look at the deer instead. <laughs> now I'm moving on to shading the clothing and I had a lot of fun shading her clothes. I was kind of confused by the skirt. I'm not sure if it's ripped up um, cloth or if it's grass. I decided to make it kind of a ripped up cloth and I hope that's okay because I couldn't totally decide what it was. Um, but yeah, I hope it looks okay. <laughs> Now I move on to shading her cape and oh my goodness, I love shading her cape. It had so many different wrinkles and just thinking about how the fabric was falling and folding and can add all the different shadows to it. When I was adding all the shadows to it, in the end it kind of ended up looking like a muted blue. Uh, but I decided to adjust it to make it more purpley and this really helped Shechel stand out in the end. I'm really happy she has that purple cape uh, because it really helps her pop when I finish the picture. So now I'm moving on to coloring the deer a bit more and the deer ends up going through a lot of changes. Um, so here I was definitely going very mystical and kind of spirity and it was kind of reminding me of the mystical animals in Breath of the Wild. But because of the blue and all the glowing, the deer was kind of attracting a lot of attention. And my eye kept wanting to go to the deer instead of to Shechel. So in the end, I actually made the deer brown and I take away the glowing eyes. I really kind of liked the blue and the glowing eyes, but I wanted the viewer to look at Shechel and the deer, like I mentioned, was taking all of the attention, especially since it's looking straight at us. So yeah, I end up changing the deer a lot in the end. Also, originally I was going to make the antlers just glow, 
um, almost kind of like a light or a glow stick. But I actually ended up adding a glowing pattern to the antlers and I thought this looked really cool. I'm really happy with how the pattern turned out. So now I'm adding some more texture to the trees to help them not look so plasticky and I'm just trying to make them look more like trees. <laughs> uh, for this, I found kind of a tree texture brush online and I also go in and kind of add some some texture of some cross hatching brushes for the highlights. And yeah, I'm just trying to make the trees look more tree like. <laughs> I also make the pattern not as noticeable on the background trees. I only added texture for the front trees and then kind of the second row of trees. I didn't add any texture to the really far background trees uh, just because I didn't want to draw too much attention to them. And I figured you wouldn't really be able to see the detail on them since they're so far in the background. Also, here's where I start changing the deer a little bit more. I decided to get rid of the glowing eyes and give it kind of more normal eyes. And I'm sorry I didn't record the part where I changed the deer from blue to brown. I wasn't really expecting to change the deer's color and it was kind of boring anyways. I just used some hue correction layers to change the color. Also, I decided to make the lighting for the picture overall darker, but I erased this darker lighting where Shaychelle was. And this makes Shaychelle overall lighter and kind of helps her pop a little bit more. So here's the finished illustration of Shaychelle. I had a lot of fun working on this picture and it definitely challenged me with the background and including the deer and like I mentioned I hardly ever draw animals and so it was really different drawing a deer but it was a lot of fun getting to try new things with this picture and I had so much fun drawing Shaychelle. She is so pretty and I loved getting to draw her. Thank you so much Kit Kat Skits for sending me your OC and letting me draw her. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!